Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bringing you another Wildstar video. This time we're giving a class guide for the Esper class. The Esper class is a class I've been playing since free to play. Want to kind of uh, level up with everybody, enjoy PvP without issues. Play this class, love this class, a great class to play for DPS. And hopefully after watching this guide, you too want to play this class. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So let's get it started with the amps. The amps, you're gonna go down the hybrid assault utility line and pick up the lifesteal. So this build is primarily based upon lifesteal, being able to get back health based on the amount of damage that you do. So after you pick up those three skills, you wanna pick up No Remorse. And the reason is No Remorse, it does additional damage, 190, and it kind of scales up, 190 damage to snared foes. The next one that you wanna pick up is the kind of dependent on what you want to do. Uh, since I'm a PvPer, I picked up Shock. Landing hit has a 25% chance to expose, and expose lowers the uh, PvP defense. Um, if you don't do that much PvP, you can pick up any of the other ones, like landing a finisher below f on foes below 30% deals additional damage. Or if, again, you might want to pick up, actually that's pretty much the only one that if you're not PV, uh, if you're not PvP rather, to pick up the humanity. But again, for PvPers, you can go with Shocked or Duelist. I personally like Shocked a little bit better. After that, for your Tier 3, you this is actually, regardless of what you're doing, you're going to pick this one up. Slow it down. Landing a hit has a 25% chance to apply a Snare. Snare reduces uh, movement speed by 30%. So this one synergizes quite well with No Remorse. So not only do you have a 25% chance to kind of snare your target, but you're also going to be doing a lot more damage to your target. From the assault one, we're going to go right up the assault power line and pick up all three to give us a little bit of boost in damage. And then we're going to pick up follow through landing an assault finisher grants empower. Um, empower pretty much increases your assault. So not only are you getting you know your assault finisher, but you're also increasing the damage that each one does. So for our skills, the side point builder that we're going to use this build on is Psychic Frenzy. For those of you that don't know, Psychic Frenzy is your melee version of Telekinetic Strike. Uh, it does a little bit less damage than Telekinetic Strike, but you kind of offset that by the fact that you can cast it a lot faster than Telekinetic Strike. So at level 25, you, you get the ability to unlock tier 4 major upgrade. Uh, in this particular one, it gives you 25% of the damage back as health. So unfortunately, you do got to be level 25. It can still work prior to level 25 it's just not as efficient but you know tw level 25 is where this build kind of starts shining for the finisher uh this is actually quite a somewhat of a tricky one if if you don't want to do any sort of pvp at all um and all you're doing is you know generic mob grinding you can pick up something else but i'm a pvp here so for that particular reason i pick up telekinetic storm telekinetic storm is kind of like a dot so it does more damage but it's spread out and the reason i like this is one it's a dot so those pesky stalkers that like to go you know stealth they're gonna have that dot on them and they'll pop right back out of stealth and the other reason is each of your ticks has a has a chance to proc your snare from your amp so for that particular reason i pick up telekinetic storm the next two skills on your list are what i would like to call kind of uh wild cards um if you're a pvp -er, i personally like pyrokinetic flame because so pyrokinetic flame right over here uh, because you are doing damage as well as healing you for that equal amount of damage uh in the, look, this is a melee melee oriented build right so you're probably going to be sticking to your target you know like glue uh because of that that 222 health for six seconds that's almost about 1300 or so health back and 1300 or so damage now a lot of people like to kind of switch this off with haunt again haunt isn't a bad skill uh if you're if you're in pv pve more often i would pick up haunt because you don't you're not going to take that much damage but in pvp what i found was pyrokinetic flame you know the the healing that you get back from it really does offset a lot of the damage that you're going to be taking you are a melee light armor class so you're going to be taking a lot of heavy damage so for that particular reason i pick up pyrokinetic flame over haunt again if you're pve oriented feel free to pick on haunt it's not a bad skill 
The next kind of wild card skill that I pick up is Concentrated Blades. Um, cons I personally like this. Uh, I don't think there's any PvE or PvP difference. Uh, you can pick up Reap instead if you want, but for my playstyle, I just like uh, Concentrated Blades a little bit better because it's kind of like a fire and forget mechanism. Now for your kind of utility skills. These are your CCs that are going to keep you kind of uh, being able to shift the battle in your favor. Uh, you pick up our Crush, which is our Knockdown. Uh, it's not really a high hitting skill, so don't really, you know, I, I, I use it just again as a CC, not a really high hitting skill. Then we pick up Restraint. Uh, Restraint's great because it makes sure that the target's rooted and they can't move. So not all, you're a melee character, you're, a lot of characters are going to run away from you. So you do have that negative drawback, but with Restraint, you kind of mitigate that. The next one we pick up is Shockwave, which is a knockback. There's a ton of damage, too, on addition to the knockback, so I really like this skill. And then finally, for our healing, we pick up Bolster. Uh, you don't need this if you are, you know, primarily PvE. So, you know, again, you're not going to take a lot of damage, so you can probably swap this out for another damage dealing skill. But since PvP, you're going to be taking a lot of damage. I like Bolster because it's, again, one of those fire and forget skills. You just pop it and it just heals you over time. And you kind of, at, at your two stacks, it kind of heals you up to about uh, 2k health by, by 7 seconds. So great skill to have in PvP. So that pretty much wraps up our video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the guide. If you guys have tried it out, uh, have any suggestions, please feel free to comment. If you like the video, please do subscribe and I'll definitely be making more videos. In the meantime, I'm actually putting together a playthrough of this build in PvP. So please look forward to that. Um, thank you guys very much. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys in Wildstar more and more.